Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm reviewing yet another on running shoe, this time around the Cloud Runner. And like always in this video, I'll go over the basic specs on the shoe, who I think it's best for, and finally how I've personally been using the shoe. So the Cloud Runner is pretty new to on running. It's a neutral road running shoe, and I think it's probably going to be best for people running kind of that half marathon and under distance. And we'll get started with the stack height. It has 28.5 in the rear, 19.5 millimeters in the forefoot for a heel to toe drop of nine millimeters. My men's size eight and a half weighs in at 10.15 ounces or 288 grams. On usually does a really nice job with their uppers and the Cloud Runner is no exception. It's probably one of their better uppers even. Very comfy feeling on your foot. Uh, tons of padding inside the heel collar. A thick padded tongue, uh, it's not gusseted, but I found it didn't slide around side to side. Overall, very comfy, no issues. Uh, for those of you wondering, yes, the insoles are removable. I found the Cloud Runner to fit true to size, and I should mention that this shoe is also available in wider widths. And I think this shoe in a wider width is going to probably be On's widest option when it comes to a running shoe. So for those of you that haven't been able to get into an on running shoe because they're too narrow. Now the Cloud Runner could be a, a good option for you. Now we move along to the midsole. Um, it's certainly more of a dense cushion or a firmer ride. Uh, on shoes in general, with the exception of the new Cloud Monster, tend to be a bit more on the firm side. Now the Cloud Runner is firm, but it's certainly not a harsh feeling shoe. Um, it's still softer than like the Cloud Swift, if you're familiar with that model. But overall the ride is firm and like I mentioned at the start of this video I think the shoe is best for people kind of training at half marathon and under. I think the average runner might not feel like there's enough cushion in the shoe especially in the forefoot to go those really long distances like up to marathon. And like I mentioned earlier this is a neutral road running shoe but I think there are some stability elements to the Cloud Runner. First of all, if you look at the base of the shoe, it's a really wide base, and that alone is gonna offer a little bit more stability. And then every on running shoe has a speed board, so that's a full length plastic plate. In this shoe, it sits right above the midsole, and in this shoe in particular, it's wider than in the other models, so again, that's going to add a little bit of stability to the shoe. And then it's just a little thing, but the shoe does have some higher sidewalls on the medial side of the shoe, which are gonna, again, offer even more support. So overall, still a neutral shoe, but with some added stability elements to it. Then if we move along to the outsole, there's plenty of rubber where you need it in all the high impact areas. I found the shoe to be very grippy on wet pavement, so no issues there. And I have a feeling this rubber is going to be quite durable and you should get lots of life out of this shoe and the outsole in particular. Now, one thing I should mention with on running is that their road shoes in the past have had a tendency to get rocks stuck in between these cloud pods. And the new on shoes that are coming out, their road shoes, they're getting a lot better at keeping rocks out of the outsole. It's going to be a lot harder to get rocks stuck in this outsole. I'm not guaranteeing that's not gonna happen, but it's not going to happen as much as it has in the past. And then we have price of the shoe. So the Cloud Runner in the US retails for 140. Up here in Canada, it retails for $170. And who do I think this shoe is best for? Uh, first of all, I think the shoe could be a good option if you're a new runner. And if I had to compare the Cloud Runner to similar shoes across other brands, I'd probably look at like the Asics Cumulus, the Saucony Ride, the Mizuno Rider, maybe even the Hoka Clifton. Even though the Clifton's a much softer feeling shoe than this, those could all be good options if you're someone who's just getting into running. Secondly, if you're a runner and you're looking for a workhorse of a shoe, you train and race mostly kind of at that half marathon and under distance, I think this could be a solid option for you. Especially if you're looking for a shoe that has some stability elements to it without being a full on stability shoe. And then I've already touched on this, but if your foot has been too wide for on shoes in the past, uh, now the Cloud Runner in its wide width might finally give you the width you need to get into an on shoe. All right, and finally, what did I think of the shoe and how have I been using it? So I've done about half a dozen runs in this shoe. Um, 
and to be honest I was a little confused at how this shoe would fit into my running shoe rotation. For me it's maybe a little too much on the firm side for an easy run or a recovery run and I felt like it's a bit too heavy and not responsive enough to kind of go up into tempo paces and beyond. And as you probably know I review a lot of shoes so I have too many options in my running shoe rotation and I wasn't confident that the Cloud Runner was going to find a regular spot in that rotation and I really like how this shoe looks. I love the colorway so ultimately after about half a dozen runs I decided to retire these from running and I just rock these now as my daily shoes. Now that's not to say that I wouldn't recommend the shoe to anyone for running. Like I already mentioned, I think the shoe could be a good option for someone who's looking to get into running. But for myself, I'll pass on this as a running shoe and just rock it as my lifestyle shoe, which I have been doing. And I'll put a link here to the Cloud Monster review that I did. That's another on running shoe that I've loved running in. It's probably my favorite on running shoe so far. So if you wanna check out that review, that's a really cool shoe, uh, tons of cushion, has a really nice rocker feel to it and is a great option for long runs. So that's it, my Cloud Runner review. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running. And I'll see you in the next video.